Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about uh, one of the major uh, trumps, uh, I want to talk about the chariot and I have been doing this series of uh, videos about uh, the major trumps and my favorite cards and I've always picked uh, the cards that are diverse, that they uh, add uh, another point of view uh, to express the meaning of the the particular card and uh, I've done these videos for like seven months ago and stopped and then uh, many of you asked me to do uh, to complete this series again and I really uh, feel bad about um, you know uh, putting hold on these uh, videos because as you know these this type of videos is very time consuming because I go through all my decks and I uh, uh, check all the cards, the specific cards, and I choose uh, the ones that I feel they are different and have, um, I mean, a different point of view. And I keep sizing them down so that till I have like 20 cards and not more than that. So it is really um, time consuming, but it gives me the chance to visit my decks. And uh, I learn from these uh, types of videos and I'm sure that it could be uh, somehow helpful. So uh, as we said, we will talk today about the chariot. And um, uh, if you're interested, you can uh, check on my previous videos. I have the fool, the magician, the high priestess, empress, uh, emperor, the hierophant and the lovers. One video for each. And... Um, this is my video number eight and I'm going to keep this and keep on doing these videos. So I will talk about first about the meaning of the chariot and the normal image which we always know, which is the chariot riding uh, a man riding the chariot and uh, being in control. And uh, I, I chose this card from the Ansata Taro, which is an out of print deck. And it's only measures. And I chose it because it's a very classic image. And uh, we all know it. We see, but uh, we see here uh, the chariot. It's his uh, par um, lower part of body is the horse. And then uh, he has the, uh, the top part is the man. And it represents uh, the Sagittarius sign. And uh, it means being in control. And uh, like combining uh, your body and your soul. And uh, that's the, the classic image. And that's why I chose it. It looks nice. And it has this image of uh, the charioteer, as you see. This is one of the Egyptian kings. And we see here Horus. And this is the, uh, it's like, um, it's inspired by the, the road uh, to the Karnak um, um, Museum in Luxor, uh, where you see all the, the road of the rams. So that's the first card that I chose. And it's the classic image. And I have here some different images that I want to talk about. The first one, the second deck is this. Tarot of the She, and this is one of my oldest decks, and it is a very beautiful deck, and it's so uh, important in my collection, and I really like it so much. And as you see here, we see the chariot. That's the chariot, one of my favorite cards. Just have a look at this image and feel the energy. Feel the confidence and the control and the focus. You see the horse here is divided to two parts. One part is white, the other is black. It's not, um, there is opposition. Uh, two parts and the only part that is linked is this glyph where you see it on, uh, on his chest. And uh, it represents the power and the 
uh, um, ability to control and be controlled to diverse uh, or oppos opposing uh, en energies and um, or opposing parts of your personality. It could be your uh, mind and your uh, intuitive uh, in intuition. It could be, uh, uh, how do you call it, um, the material, the physical part of your, the body and uh, the mind. And at the back, we see here the solar eclipse. You see the moon is uh, the the moon disk is coming in front of the sun and as you see uh, it's blocking the sun but you can feel the heat in the background so it's such a, a magical moment and the lady on top of the horse it screams confidence you feel the confidence so this is one of my favorite images the uh, the chariot and the tarot of the chi and another deck another image that i really feel that i need to talk about is the chariot in the osho zen tarot let's have a look at this beautiful image it's awareness this is so powerful and so meaningful awareness that you can see clearly you know uh, this is like an image that is getting a cracking and from inside you see a pure soul uh, like you are uh, connected you can see clearly and be aware of all the forces that surround you and you can be uh, use your intuition and uh, be able to pick and choose uh, and do a good decision depending on your uh, innocence your uh, true self your higher self so i do like this image very much and the osho zen is one of the decks that are i guess it's a must have because it uh, it sees uh, taro from another uh, point of view uh, they have uh, she has a very special perspective and i do really feel uh, most of the cards are really so connected uh, i feel so connected to it so that was my one of the chariot cards that i chose and i have here also uh another card that i do really like very much and that's the chariot in the wildwood tarot and just have a look at the image the colors the the imagery is so uh attractive the impression on his face and the his body pose he's so tense she she's a lady she's so tense and you know the way she pulls the the, the string and uh, causing the tension uh, here and then she's just going to shoot uh, and aim at her uh, purpose and what she uh, wants to i mean her the 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 proper direction so the the expression on her face is really uh, very nice and i do feel this deck that's the archer she's aiming uh, at what she wants to she, it's so concentration a lot of concentration you feel in her face and her body posture focus uh, determination so this is also one of the images that i really like so much and also another chariot here we have is this chariot from the dark goddess tarot and this is one of the very nice special uh, decks all the cards are gods and goddesses and I they picked uh, Ishtar for the chariot and she is the Babylonian uh, goddess, the goddess of love and war. She is the goddess of love and war. She combines both the masculine and feminine aspects of uh, personality. Uh, this uh, eight pointed star, which is like four uh two stars two four pointed stars one on top of the other which shows that she's in control of her masculine part and her uh feminine part and she has this dual personality and the way she poses you see and how she is in balance on top of this lion and she's holding uh the reins and she's in she's so confident so this is one of the images that I really felt that uh, I need to talk about. So Ishtar, 
from the dark goddess Taro to represent the chariot. And another deck uh, is this. That's the uh, 78 Taro mythical, Taro of uh, the legendary mythical images. And this is one of the um, collaborate decks uh, from Taro 78. They have many, I think, five decks. Uh, I have three of them. This is one of the one. The, this is my favorite. It's the mythical. And um, I like the image that was picked. And look at the chariot here. The chariot is Persephone. And uh, the artist is Pia Wana, Wana Chai Wong. And uh, she chose the pers Persephone. Uh, and this is quite, uh, quite deep. Because it re she represents both sides. She represents, she's the goddess of uh, the underworld. And she is the goddess of spring and vegetation. So she has both uh, parts of, uh, I mean, half of her is in summer. The other, she's in uh, the underworld. And she's in command. And she is, uh, she's in total surrender, but in a very powerful way. You see how she's going to the underworld, to Hades, uh, on her own, uh, and she is going, uh, she wants to go, she knows that this is part of her life, part of her duty, so she combines both sides, the dark and uh, the light, uh, winter and uh, summer, I mean, uh, the contradiction between these two sides, and the image is very powerful, part of her face, you see, it's like death, the visage of death and she's wearing green as the goddess of vegetation and spring and uh, you see uh, she's getting ready she's coming from the spring she's going to the underworld and you see the darkness around her and she on her own will she's going on her own will and that's a very uh, deep uh, image which i wanted to talk about and then uh, let me show you another chariot from another deck this one this is the this is the uh, kingdom within taro and the chariot here is different it's a very different image look at this uh, you see here a mother going home carrying her with her children after school you see the side the the, the crab you see the crab covering the moon. Her husband is waiting for her. You see these two horses by uh, the gate. So this is uh, this represents home, represents the Scorpio sign, represents your roots, uh, purpose, control, and home. So that's another aspect of the chariot, and that's why I wanted to show you this card. And then uh, let me show you another different chariot the chariot from the witch sisters card deck i'm sorry and i love this card look at this flight these two decks are so favorite to me the witch sisters and the tower of the hidden realms by the same author and uh, the expressions on the faces of the characters is really amazing flight She's ready to, to, she's flying, she's going to, she's in control. You see the raven with her and I love the image. I love the determined look on her face. And this card is a very nice depiction for the chariot and one of the ones, one of the cards that are very special and I wanted to show it to you. And then another deck, another completely different a chariot and that's the chariot in the Ma tarot just have a look at this card i've always wondered why was the chariot chosen uh, why what's why did she choose the sphinx for the chariot and when i read in the book she has a very different uh, perspective and i really wanted to talk about it so this is the sphinx uh, it's the head is a head of a man and the body of a lion and it is it's uh, the way um, it's close to the pyramids and it faces east 
so it's uh, it faces the sunrise every single day and it aligns it aligns exactly with the orbit of the the moon orbit and the uh, the the sun the the um, the sun during the year i mean that's the the orbit of the sun and that's the orbit of the moon so that's the masculine part and that's the feminine part uh, uh force your force your physical strength represented by the moon your masculine part and your intuition and uh receptive nature uh the, um, that is represented by the moon and uh here, the alignment of the Sphinx is that uh, the sun passes on top of the head of the statue during uh, the autumn and spring equinoxes. So the alignment is so accurate and that's not only what she meant. She meant that uh, because we always know that the chariot is a person who is riding a horse, uh, a, 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 I mean, a, a, um, uh, a wagon, and uh, it has two wheels. So one of the wheels is the sun, the other is the moon. The, one of the wheels is the feminine part, the other is the masculine part, and the earth is the wagon, and the, the person, the, the one on top of the chariot, is you. So that's what she means, that you are in control of your masculine part and your uh, feminine part. So it's a very interesting image, and it was always one that I wanted to talk about because it's completely different. So that's the chariot in the Ma Taro, and I found it uh, different and uh, worth talking about. Also, another uh, card that I really liked is the chariot here. In the Tabula Mandi uh, Tarot by M. M. Melin, and she's the author of the the Rosetta Tarot, and I do love the image. You see the charioteer. He's so she or he. I don't know. I think it's a he, uh, gliding so swiftly, and you see the the waves are so high turbulent water and he's in total control he's in balance and you see those two horses each of them is uh, facing one of the directions you see here the waning moon i don't know if you can see it or not here two waning or waxing moons and uh, the card shows control focus and uh, balance it shows uh, flexibility and determination so I really liked to show you this beautiful chariot and another card another beautiful chariot is this chariot from the Farago Spirit and Tarot and this is um, an indie deck a very beautiful deck which is a collage and a very elegant collage let me show you the chariot where is the chariot yes this is the chariot Look at this gorgeous chariot. You see, that's the man and the horse. You see here the crab. The crabs are here. You see the different signs. That's a uh, uh, cancer sign. We see the moon here. We see uh, Neptune. We see Saturn. And I found it so beautiful. And the artwork is stunning full of symbolism and I wanted to show it to you and the title is movement and momentum so momentum you gain momentum you move forward you are determined you know where to go and I really liked this card so much and uh, let me tell you it took me two days to get and pick those cards so I hope you really like it and I hope I did um, a good job. <laughs> Another deck is the Naked Heart Tarot. Let me show you the chariot here. Look at this beautiful chariot. I liked it so much. In this case, you see the horse has two heads, one on each direction, two wings. So it is controlling, uh, uh, opposing 
uh, opposing directions, uh, opposing parts of your personality again. So I do like the depiction. And you see here, that's the cancer, the sign of the cancer, symbol of the cancer. And another card is this beautiful deck, the Lily Black, one of my favorite cards. Uh, one of my favorite decks and this card is really beautiful look at the chariot here adorable i just adore this image two horses you see they are one is brown the other is greenish they are looking to different direction and this is the hand and uh, you don't see the, t the the man, but you see his hands, how he is in control. And I do love the artwork. I could not uh, resist showing you this card because it's really one of my favorites. All the deck is beautiful. And this chariot is one of my favorite chariots. And another chariot is this deck, Tarot of the Starbound Fantasia by uh, Alice and the author of the Alice Tarot and I like the chariot here and let me show it to you this is the chariot beautiful image I fell in love with this chariot and I said I must show it to you you see he has the two uh, different ropes one for each a horse and they are entangled but he is in control you see the direction here and he is going so effortlessly. And I, I really like the image. And I wanted to show it to you. And that's also another indie deck. And uh, this one is so special. That's the last unicorn tarot. And one of my favorite, favorite decks of all times. And let me show you the chariot in this image. It's a story of the Prince Lear. Who is going to uh, going to face the dragon, and uh, and going through a very uh, uh, how do you call uh, difficult and uh, a battle? And he was he was victorious. And in this image, because the dragon was in control of the castle and the the unicorns, so it shows that he went. Uh, how do you call it? uh you feel the energy he is going to it's kill or die you see and it shows the end of one era and the beginning of another era it's victory after struggle after a battle and i do like this image and i wanted to show it to you because it's another uh the, the artwork is beautiful the the idea is nice and it's one of those different chariots that I found in my collection. Also this, the Lubanko Taro. Let me show you the chariot in this card. This is the chariot. I really loved the image. You see those like spirals, like, uh, like, um, uh, how do you call it? like high waves two different that it's a vortex and you see the horse is in the middle but he is moving he is not uh, he's moving and you feel the movement and he's not surrendering but facing a uh, challenge but able to uh, to be victorious and so i did really like the card and i wanted also to show it to you that's the chariot from the lubanko taro and here, the Sufi Tarot by Aida Hussein, one of my favorite decks too. The chariot in this case is the Wali. And the Wali uh, is someone who is able to uh, control these two horses. And it's something common in the Middle East. You see this white horse, the black horse. So he has no reins. He is so flexible and able to move while they are both moving and holding nothing. He just, you see the stars and the movement in the card. It's so beautiful. And I really felt the energy of the chariot. And I wanted to show it to you. One of also my favorite cards. 
another beautiful chariot is uh, the chariot of the for hexa tarot by mj cullinan my one of my favorite decks the chariot is so beautiful here look at this look at this adorable i adore her artwork i love the colors she picks very warm and deep and vibrant so you see here she is riding a raven there is lightning everywhere she's so confident she's so cool and calm and in control even what even if she's facing the storm she's so confident so i did really wanted to show you this beautiful chariot which i really loved so much and i have another beautiful chariot from this deck tarot of the mystical moments and a very cute chariot look at this look at this gorgeous chariot she's riding a snail a snail so <laughs> and the chariot riding a snail can you imagine so keep going know where you're going and but do it without uh, rush slowly and uh, in determination you see the the look the confidence she is in i really like this chariot so much and this deck is one of the best best mass market decks best collage decks and this image i always look at it and stare at it and feel how uh, smart she is so that is another chariot and i have another chariot here that's the a jane austen tarot deck which is 53 cards and there are no the measures are all uh, chosen from the miners and look at this chariot here it's the seven of swords the chariot has the energy of the seven of swords if you, we all know the seven of swords we all know how uh, sneaky and uh, purposeful he is he knows exactly what he wants and he is going to win so we always see the the depiction of the seven of swords as the chariot is something that i wanted also to show you because it's a connection between the minors and the majors so uh, i wanted to have the chance to show you this beautiful deck and uh, it's one of those uh, decks that are so unique because uh, there are no measures the measures are all through the minors and it's uh, like the playing cards and i've talked about it before it's really worth getting through a very nice deck in this uh, image in this deck tarot of the sorceress i liked the chariot because it was different let me show you the chariot here it reminds me of the fool but there is difference between the energy of the fool and the energy of this lady which is going forward and she knows where to go but she's full of confidence and uh, there is she's not falling on a, of a cliff she knows exactly where she's going and you see the moon uh, in the background so i also wanted to show you this beautiful chariot which is different and that's why as i told you i want to show you different cards uh, i chose all the cards that have something uh, new to say i mean something different uh, here in this beautiful deck the woodland fairy tale tarot the chariot is puss in boots and <laughs> i liked it you see the image here the smart uh, puss in the smart cat that she helped her master uh, using tricks to, uh, being uh, smart and uh, you uh, trickster and uh, she came back with this whole uh, carriage of wheat which is abundance and so i found it different and um, it has sense of humor so i wanted to show it to you and then another chariot is the chariot here fairies and magical creatures tarot the chariot is 
a horse, an enchanted horse, which is very well known. I think his name is Kelpie, I think. Let me check. Let me check. I think it's Kelpie, yes. Kelpie. The Kelpie, an enchanted pony from Celtic folklore, is a magnificent creature that grazes near uh, lakes and streams on foggy days. So uh, whoever manages to bridle it will be its companion. So uh, traditionally, the chariot of the arcana is a confident figure who leads its chariot. Here, the human stands before the kelpie, trying to, ta to tame it. The chariot symbolizes the ambition that leads us forward toward a destination. Uh, the Kelpie wa warns us that every living creature must be understood and respected more than controlled. To climb onto the chariot, we must control our passion and pursue a balance between reason and desire. So I found that this is a very nice uh, depiction and I really liked the image. You see the horse, you feel it's a difficult animal to tame, and but still he is confident He's holding the reins confidently. And so I really like the images, uh, the image, and I wanted to show it to you. And another deck is this one. The Art of Love Tarot by Tony Carmini, which is one of my favorite uh, authors. I like his artwork. I like all his decks. And I like the chariot here. Look at this, the path exploration a very unique approach and you see here his artwork is really one of my favorites you see here you see the here like um, these two spirals the colors of green and blue and purple the water is turbulent but the road is so clear and there is light at the end of the tunnel so it is um like, uh, how do you call it? I want to find the proper word in English. It's how you pursue your goals uh, and uh, uh, purposefully. So it's a beautiful and it also shows like a choice. And uh, I like this depiction very much. And this deck is really very powerful. And the last card that I have, the last deck that I have here is the forest of enchantment tarot and the the chariot here what happened yes the chariot here is another different depiction look at this that's the chariot the image is so beautiful the artwork is gorgeous you see who he, the fairy wind all these fairies are going to one direction. Some of them are, uh, one of them is riding a horse, one is running. I mean, each on his own pace. There are six. I think you are the seventh. Either you go and follow them or you can go on another direction. I mean, it has uh, the feeling of choice. It has the feeling of uh uh, choosing between reason and uh, the desire or the path ahead. Should you go or not? I mean, I liked the image very much and it chose, uh, chose speed also. A different uh, take on the chariot card and that was my last card. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And uh, if you have, uh, you, find you have one of the cards that you like, uh, if you have any of these decks, uh, I would like to know on the comments uh, how you feel about this, uh, these picks. Uh, if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for being here and bye.